This text that says, who can afford a cat enclosure? Mine comes in at dusk, never out at night. And I know that the cost of these enclosures is something that the Bass Coast has been looking at. Ali Wastey is the CEO of the Bass Coast Shire. And from July next year, if you live in that shire, your cat will have to be enclosed 24 hours a day. Ali, what kind of reaction have you had to this? You're giving people a fairly long lead up time, but what sort of reaction have you had? Oh, we have had an overwhelmingly positive reaction. Uh, it was part of our local law that we went out for consultation on. So we knew that when this was going to come through, that it would be met very positively because it was the constant feedback that we were getting from our community about bringing in a cat curfew. Obviously, we're very well known for our wildlife here and um, the community really wanted to keep their wildlife safe and also understood that um, having a cat contained is also really great for cats, which many of your listeners have pointed out today too. So can you tell us in, in reality what these restrictions will mean for owners? Yeah, sure. So it's a 24-7 containment. So at the moment, uh, you need to have your cat contained uh, in your property uh, at night. So this is coming in for 24-7. So at all hours, it will need to be contained from July 1 next year. So owners need to make sure that the, that they're able to do that for their pets. So there's a range of options out there, including um, not so expensive ones, right up to, you know, the Taj Mahal uh, version that um, probably does cost a bit that one listener was ringing in about. But we've also taken an approach, a very um, educative approach with that. We've done pop-ups with our community. We're involving men's sheds. So people who, you know, are doing a little bit tough, um, we can reach out to them and support them so that they can keep their cats safe on their property. Well, I know in just a moment we'll be speaking with one of the rangers from Phillip Island Nature Parks about the sort of protection that they want for local wildlife there and whether it be trying to breed uh, specific animals and birds and wildlife back into Phillip Island. Ali, it's been great speaking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Ali Wastey there from the Bass Coast Shire.